Carleton University is located in the heart of Ottawa, which is the capital of Canada. And that location offers the students and the faculty unique opportunities to do hands-on history. Our position in the capital allows us to engage in a large conversation about where history is and where it's going. So we have relations with the local, the national and the international community. We recently collaborated with the Anishinaabeg Nation on whose territory the university is built and the francophone community of the whole area to host a colloquium on Samuel de Champlain, who's the French explorer and diplomat, to see how the tensions were played out between these different peoples. Where were the debates? Where, where were the painful parts of history? But also where were the points where reconciliation can happen and dialogue can happen? My colleagues in the department bring their own enthusiasm and their research in the classroom. They work on all sorts of topics in innovative areas of research. We cover different periods and spaces, from prehistory in Canada and in Europe to uh, the present and also from South Africa to India to China to the Caribbean and Mexico. In general, our senior students can draw on the resources of many institutions in the area, the National Gallery, the Canadian Museum of History, and they can go and research in the archives of Library and Archives Canada. Carl University Library's archives and research collections received a massive donation of correspondence, drawings, plans, and even models from the internationally renowned Canadian architect, Douglas Cardinal. Douglas is a phenomenal storyteller and our particular contribution to the project was to capture some of those stories in a series of interviews where Douglas has the opportunity to talk about his projects and his work, work that has reshaped the Canadian cultural landscape. RMA in Public History is a two-year program that culminates in a major research essay or research project making an original contribution to knowledge. Students' projects have uh, engaged with public history around the globe What's especially unique about our MA in Public History is that we're committed to integrating theory and practice. We ask the students to engage with historical and cultural theory and also to move beyond the traditional sites of public history such as museums and historic houses to thinking about historical representations in theatre, in film, on the web and in digital media. We're really lucky in the department to have a lot of space that's dedicated to a student uh, learning and also uh, conversations. So every student in the program has an office space here on the fourth floor of Patterson Hall. Uh, it's a nice convivial space as well as a serious space for study. They also have the opportunity to use digital labs on campus and especially in our department, uh, which is a great place for them to hone some of their skills in digital humanities, which is a huge part of some of their projects. We maintain a very dynamic web and social media presence. We organize workshops and conferences and provide networking opportunities for graduate researchers, faculty and practitioners in public history from the wider community. One example of this uh, is the Hate 2.0 project. It's a project that is uh, collaboratively organized with students and faculty. It's based around the idea that we can use social media to better understand how to oppose populist movements and neo-Nazi movements in Europe, and students are involved from the ground up. At Carleton, we've taken seriously the idea that the digital revolution is here to stay, and that social media is a very relevant source for a history of the present. A number of faculty members and students are already looking to things like Twitter and YouTube as a, a place where we can think critically about history and history making. Students are creating smartphone apps that are really taking research uh, to the public in unique and interesting ways. Carlton University is a terrific place to engage with history outside of the classroom. Some aspects that really helped me pursue an MA was the encouragement to really uh, apply history to the physical. So we had a lot of assignments and activities that involved us uh, going out and doing field work to uh, Ottawa, the archives, or to local museums. I took advantage of the international exchange opportunities at Carleton by studying for a year at the University of Exeter in England. And this was a really great opportunity for me to not only learn about English history and English culture, but also to travel 
travel to uh, you know, the places you study about and you read about. Carleton has access to amazing resources, new technology, you have all the great resources in the Ottawa area, but I think the most important and best thing about the program is the faculty. They're all very passionate about what they do and they're all here to help you succeed academically and they're here to challenge you and to help you do your best. And I think as a future graduate student, I think that's what I look for and what's most important. The dynamic of the Carleton University History Department really favors interaction between students, graduate students, and uh, professors. Um, if there's ever a difficult theory or something you don't quite understand that is pertinent to your research, it is very easy to get support or advice. Carleton's public history program uh, has an emphasis on doing historical work outside of the academy, um, involving internships as well as doing a lot of digital history um, and a lot of really hands-on kinds of stuff, so that's what drew me here. I chose this university because it has the first and only interdisciplinary institute of African studies in Canada. I study the history of medicine in South Africa, so during the liberation struggle in South Africa, they had a medical department and I am the first historian to look at their medical department in exile. I chose Carleton for the faculty. Um, I did my undergrad here and I had a wonderful experience. I found this department to be such a warm and welcoming place. We're constantly finding new ways to engage with these dynamic surroundings. Ottawa's always been a meeting place. It's at the meeting of three rivers and it's the capital of the country. And at every level for faculty and students, it offers opportunities to do hands-on history. 